No introduction needed for this gentleman right here. Uh, Jeff, thanks for taking some time with us. And a big day for you and a big day for this organization, too, to celebrate uh, your accomplishments. And But first I'll ask, uh, you know, I talked to Silva and Cloutier earlier in the year, and he, he said he kind of got chills just driving back into the city. Yeah. And even though not the same arena, but the city just seen it again, he hadn't come much. Your thoughts when you first drove into Guelph today? Well, I get the same feeling every time I get off the highway, and I think it's the the best thing you could ever ask for in, in uh, you know, coming to a junior hockey city is it always feels like I'm coming home. And I think that's the, the kind of the, the desired goal that you want is, um, you know, I'm always going to be from King City and uh, my family is, but this literally feels like my second home and, and the memories, all the guys are up in the alumni booth and just sharing stories about when we played. And uh, we all look a little different now, obviously, but it's a lot of fun to see everybody and just be back in the city. Well, you know, and I've got a chance to speak to a lot of your former teammates before the game tonight. And earlier in the week, I spoke with GM Mike Kelly, Russ Hammond. I'm getting mixed messages. I'm getting, I'm getting shy young kid, <laughs> to, you know, just settling in here. And uh, oh, I talked to Todd Harvey as well, and he said, "Well, I remember him being a little chirpy on the ice." <laughs> so I think the verdict was uh, different on the ice than off the ice. Uh, but what you thought? What were you like when you came here as a kid? Well, it was, it was. Um it was a great experience, and it was kind of a stressful one, to be honest with you. When you're 16 years old and you're kind of expected to help turn the franchise around, it's a little bit of a different expectation than any other 16-year-old has. Usually you're just trying to get through life and get through high school or whatever, um, and it's kind of like you have a job at 16, and, and it was a big one because they were, um, you know, they were the worst team in, in the OHL, and, uh, and they drafted me first, and they put faith in me, and they drafted some really good people and players to kind of help turn this thing around. So um, I was very proud to, you know, of my three years here. And I, as I said in my speech tonight, uh, this was not my desired goal coming here. I just wanted to turn this play thing around and, and help it become a, a desirable market in the OHL. And I think they made the playoffs for 23 straight years. Um, it, it might be tough to keep that alive this year, who knows, but uh, that, that's something to be proud of, to kind of make your name as an OHL franchise that's, um, you know, people have respect when they talk about it. You know, and I looked at your stats, and everyone sort of thinks of you as this great goal scorer that came here. And you put up over 40 goals twice. But then, you know, I looked over in the columns, and there was 81 assists yeah. two years. And, and that really leads to me believe, well, you were thinking teammates first when you are out on the ice. Is that sort of a fair assessment? Well, you can't do anything in this game. All the individual accolades and accomplishments of an individual, it's all because of who you're around. You're as good as your line mates. And I got to play with some great guys. Um, and they helped me out a lot. They were, you know, they put the puck in the net, and when you want to set up plays, they would finish them. So Mike Kelly did a great job of uh, kind of surrounding me and everyone else in the organization with some great people. I, I hate to even ask this, but it's maybe the most famous photo, more famous than some of the trophy photos, the championships. Real quick, though, that nacho ad, did you realize at the time, like, what, what that was going to become? I can't even believe that they did that to me. Being a 40-year-old man now, looking oh. back at that, um, it was just part of the program, you know, they were doing an advertisement thing and they wanted me to do it, but uh, to look back on that now, I always on Twitter and social media, every once a, once a week somebody will send me that picture and say, what the heck is this? Uh, but we had a lot of fun with it and it was, uh, it was just part of the program back in the day. Well, you seem to really found your niche with broadcasting and, and Leafs Lunch, a big hit, enjoy listening to it. Um, you know, when you talk to players that retire, they always say, well, I miss the dress room, talking to the guys, just hanging out in the room. I almost feel like with Brian Hayes, Jamie McLennan, and, and Ray Ferrell, you've just basically maybe a PG version, but you've recreated that, and you're, and you're still in the dressing room. That's what we try to do, just talk hockey and, and tell stories. And I think once your career's done, you kind of miss the you miss the crowd. And it was I, thought, I found it awesome today to be out there and to hear the crowd ch uh, you know, cheer. Uh, that's, that's what you miss, you know, the ability to be a, uh, an athlete or a professional athlete to get 4,000 people or 20,000 people to jump up and cheer. It's an awesome thing. And today was probably my last one I'm ever going to get, and I really enjoyed it. Well, uh, we want you to stick around because we're going to get Donna Rabo and on. But uh, when I, I want to borrow a, a segment from your show, if you'll let me, in a, a future headlines. And so I've got to ask, so uh, on Monday, is the headlines going to read, uh, ooh, Jeff O'Neill, nice time with family and friends, enjoys his afternoon in Guelph? Or <laughs> is it going to be... Jeff O'Neill meets up with some old teammates and has himself a time in the yeah. Royal City. Well, I think uh, if you know me and know the guys that are waiting upstairs, it's going to be the, the latter one. So uh, that was a good little bit you did there. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to say that Jeff O'Neill was with his old teammates and we had a time in our old city. I'm looking forward to it.
Good to hear. We'll stick around. We'll do more after the break. And make sure you tell your colleagues on Monday, you are the 4030 Grid Rider <laughs> yeah, for the weekend. Thank you.